Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play series. Today we're going to be starting Panzer Paladin. This is like a cool little Mega Man-like where you play as like a character that inhabits a mech and everything. It seems pretty cool, so let's go ahead and hop in. New game. Game mode. Story or Blacksmith? I'm guessing story. Classic or remix? Classic. And there's difficulty. I'm probably just going to go on normal to start off. And there appears to be our mech, as it were. Uh, am I supposed to be- oh, okay, I was supposed to be pressing something. Two arms! Alright, so here's our little character, here's our mech, who I believe is named Grit, not just because of the, um, health bar up the top, but also I've seen it on the Steam page. So attack is X. Boom. And that gives us a new weapon? So yeah, now we have a sword. Cool. So one of the things I remember being noted about this game is you can steal your enemy's weapons and use them against you- against them. So there's like multiple weapons to use in the game and everything, which seems like a cool idea. Here we go. Spell defense up is almost ready? Uh, oh, I can switch between weapons with, uh, LB and RB, so what is this weird- Is this just the spear? Why does it have like a rope hanging? Spell absorb, spell defense up, spell durability up. Down stab, midair, and you press X. There we go. So just like Shovel Knight there. Simple. Oop, almost, I barely made that. Alright, we haven't learned how to cast spells yet. Whoop. Ooh, I blocked it. So we got a shield too, I gotta keep in mind. No, you don't. Got a bit of Zelda in here too. Almost didn't make that jump either. <laughs> Those jumps kinda scare me. Okay, now we have four weapons. Spell, durability up. Huh. What are you? Attack up. Is that just, like, once we attack a certain amount of times, it casts that spell and we just get that buff forever now? Or is it like a... Why? Oh, that's how we throw. Okay, so we can throw our weapons as well. So I guess that's the incentive to collect a bunch of different weapons. Looks like I lost my spear once I picked this hammer up. Okay, I think if I stand here, yeah, here we go. Okay, so I lost my, uh, like, hammer for that. Oh, and that's what durability up means. They do actually all have a durability meter, so they will break. That one says small heal. I probably want to hang on to that one, if I had to guess. Uh, oop. probably gonna have to chuck a weapon at you. There we go. Whoa, is that a secret weapon? I want that. Uh, there we go. Okay, so does that mean I unlocked that weapon? What, is, what does that mean? I kind of picked it up and a bunch of things happened. Also, jumping on that enemy probably wasn't the best idea, but now I, at least I know that there's contact damage. Oh, back is eject. Okay, so now we're in our little tiny form. Is that something I can... Yes, I can grapple. And I missed the second one. Guessing because I pressed X at the wrong time. Whoop. And I didn't jump high enough that time. So, we'll jump. Huh. Am I, like, doing this at the wrong time or something? What's going on here? I, like, can't get enough actual height to make the jump. It seems. Because by the time I press the X button, it just can't catch this second, uh, like, hook thing. There we go. I guess I just wasn't pressing X fast enough, and then I missed the jump anyway. <laughs> this early in the game... Oh, we can jump off of using the hook. Okay. I was just kind of letting myself go. Uh, recharge... Paladin? Okay, so that's us, I guess? Not our robot, unless our robot's called a paladin. Summon paladin. Okay, no. Our robot's called a paladin. Got it. I was confused because it seemed like the name was Grit, so I was a bit confused when it started giving me a different name. Alright. Yeah, there's like a little chest icon when you collect something, so that must mean there that's a new weapon that's been added to our repertoire, as it were. Insert weapon? Oh, we have to give up a weapon and we get a checkpoint for it. Okay, so we're just gonna have to totally manage our uh, weapons here. Okay, a rising attack. 
Okay, so there's like a... There's like an up attack you can do. There's a down attack. And then there's a one, if you use it in the air, you actually get a bit more height. Interesting. A hockey stick? I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Spell deflect. Interesting. Okay, that was a big boy. That also went into our chest. Maybe that's something, like, stored for later and we can choose between all of our weapons at some point. Ugh. Don't crush me, please. Really bad at, like, death spikes that fall down at you in these games. We don't. There we go. Ugh. Okay, we're probably definitely gonna need to use that uh, mid-air kind of jump thing in platforming at some points. Oh, our inventory. Yeah, that might be how we... Yeah. Storage. There we go. So, I can... How do I actually switch to... Oop. How do I switch to the storage? Maybe I select... Okay, there we go. Empty, and then... Yeah, we can choose what we want. Well, let's replace our... Javelins that have incredibly low durability with... Some of our things that have really high durability? Sounds like a good idea to me. Alright, now we have this. Oh, jeez. Excuse me? Did he just destroy all of our weapons? That was rude. Can you not do that next time? Spell Thunder. Break weapon, LT and RT. Oh. Oh, okay. We break our weapons and it gives us different effects. That's what the spell is. That's a pretty interesting little system. You want to, like, kind of hold on to your weapons as long as possible, but also you can get various things from them. Cool. Whoop. Okay. Didn't expect that. That gun shoots very, very fast. I think these... I don't think there's going to be, uh... Ooh, the back step's probably going to be very important for bosses. I don't really think there's going to be any secrets hiding in a lot of these levels, although there could be, uh... Like, I mean collectibles, mostly. Like, there might be secret weapons hiding in each level, but I wonder if there's gonna be any collectibles. All of the, um, various things you can collect in, uh, Shovel Knight. There we go. Who knows? Uh, gotta make sure I keep blocking those. While also making progress. There we go. Alright. These enemies remind me of the enemies in, uh, Kunai. The little guys that were just, like, monitor heads, basically. Uh, yeah, we want to go recharge, I think. Yeah. Alright. Uh, enter. So that's just a free heal. We need to use those whenever we see them. Nope. And jump. Yeah, man, those jumps are really close. They scare me every single time I go for one. Alright, so what weapons do we have now? Just a bunch of durability up. Daggers? I don't think I really care about durability up too much right now. I might change my opinion on that later, but right now it seems... Uh, not very important. Uh, slash. Okay, so... I should probably just break this now? There we go, so did that refund some of the durability on any of my things? Hmm. I can't really tell. Let's try... Let, let's just break another one, just to test this. I want to find out. Hmm. It doesn't seem like it really did anything there. Alright, well, let's at least go back into our backpack and get some new weapons out. There we go. Let's go ahead and use you. So you just heal me straight up. Insert weapon. Yeah, let's just put that one in there. It's the most damaged one. Medium heal, deflect, and defense up is what we're working with right now. Okay, so here's our first boss fight. Warning. Windigo. Okay. Wait. It just died? The horseman. Uh... Oh, jeez. That was not a jump. That was a, that was not a very smart jump. Did a lot of damage, though. Uh, oh, yeah, we got it. Whoop. I thought maybe that was the solution, but I didn't quite make it over him. Oh, jeez. 
Well, I can jump over that at the very least. Okay, getting behind you definitely seems like the best way to go about it. I was about to say, that was way too easy of a fight, wasn't it? Um, defense up is the spell I get. Was that the whole fight? Or was, or is this about to be a phase two? Okay, no, that was the whole fight. <laughs> I was a bit scared there for a second. Because uh, I thought they were going to throw even more at me. What happened out there? It's the end of the world! It's Halloween on Earth! Calm down, Itch. It's not the end. Surely there's a scientific explanation, Doctor. Director, the explanation is that the occult is real and they're, they've rained down on us. All over the world, satellites have tracked weapon-shaped meteors targeting ten sites around the globe. Energy readings tell us these weapons act as portals for enemy troops and keep them pouring into the cities. These events have been described by the Pazuzu parchments hidden by Vetition 6. The Forge will claim the Earth and produce spirit weapons. The Cosmic War shall begin. We're doomed! Not yet. There's always a way. Let me go in, Doctor. Flame, you're a rescue mission android, not built for warfare. The world needs rescuing now, more than ever, and I'm the best rescue mission officer. Ain't that right, Grit? Grit seems to agree. Affirmative, I have yet to have a better co-pilot than you, human or otherwise. See? Your world is beyond rescue. Lay down your weapons or you will fall down to ours. I'm gonna lay it down right on your beak. I'm coming for you and your little swords. Alrighty. So that was our first level. Interesting. So now we got a lot of the stuff. Oh wow, it's this kind of map, huh? This is like a, this reminds me of Street Fighter. So we can go over to ever we to wherever we want, I suppose. I guess let's start with Lilith in the USA. Makes sense to me, I suppose. Guess. She has kind of a cool design, so... It just started me off there, so I'm kind of assuming this is the first level, or it might be like Mega Man where they're all similarly... similarly difficult, but there's probably a most efficient way to go through them. But yeah, I'm really liking the game so far. Whoop. I can definitely see the game getting much, much harder than it has been up to this point. So we have Deflect, Defense Up, Beam, and Medium Heal. Probably want to save that for a boss fight if it's what I think it is. Deflect is good too. Let's, let's go ahead and use this one. Okay, that was a very, very risky jump, but I made it. Somehow. Ow. Jerk. Ooh. Oh. Okay, you're tricky, little one, aren't you? Thanks for the knife. Alright, so what, what weapons are we working with right now? We have the snow knife, which just straight up gives me defense up. I think I want to save that for a boss fight, so let's go ahead and grab the javelins, and I definitely want to save the broad axe for a boss fight. Officer sword is pretty good too. Large shield, deflect. Yeah, let's just get the hockey stick. Alright, yeah, I think, I think the way this is going to want me to do it is save all of my really, really good weapons for the boss fights and just kind of use all my trash weapons to take care of the trash mobs. At least that's what makes the most sense to me. Although this hockey stick is very nice because of how much range it has. I will say that. Weird frog. I have a bad, bad history with frogs in Metroidvanias. How do I... Do I throw it? No. Oh. Okay, that time it worked? How did the hockey stick not work? It was just the spear. Or maybe I did have to throw something at it, and that was what made it destroyable? I'm not sure. Okay, up here we- oh! I didn't know this was gonna fall. I'm sorry. Here we go. Oop. My little spear broke. That's cool, because I got a new, better, longer spear. I should probably go ahead and break this so I can heal. Yeah, that healed me a little bit. 
Okay, so... Ooh, large heal. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop that. There we go. Get out of here, piranha plant. I can't, uh... Yeah, can't do that. I should probably be doing drop attacks more. They're so incredibly good in uh, Shovel Knight that I imagine they're probably good in this too. Right? Yeah, pretty good. And jump, and slash. Whoop. Dodge that. I love the pixel art in this game so far, for sure. We needed a good, like, game that kind of gave that same feeling as uh, Shovel Knight, because Shovel Knight really was one of the indie, the crazy popular indie games of the ages. And just, like, totally bringing that whole genre kind of back into the forefront of everybody's minds. So I'm glad that things like this are kind of following up on Shovel Knight's popularity. Since Shovel Knight seems to be moving now into uh, some different genres. Now that they've finished all the DLC for Shovel of Hope and everything. Hello. Whoop. Okay, so you're one I actually have to think about. Whew. Okay, you're actually pretty rough. Uh, this weapon's pretty damaged. I want to get that heal off before I waste it all. Ow. Okay, I had to take those hits. Yeah, let's just go ahead and break this now. And, yep, we have just a little tiny spear now. Okay, I was hoping you o operated on, like, Koopa Troopa logic and you would just go the other direction. Because, uh, I was really scared he was just gonna sit there and kind of edge guard on me for a second. Uh, yeah, do that one. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, and we get put way back at the beginning of the stage when we fall down a pit like that. Oh, no. There's gonna be a lot of, uh... Uh, really, really bad moments in this where I lose a ton of progress because I can't judge a jump correctly. How do you see that, but... I can also see that I was taking things a bit too slowly. I can kind of go super quickly if I need, feel the need to. So I should really focus on doing that a bit more. I don't need to go as slow as I have been. Whoop. No, you don't. Slash. Yeah, pretty fun so far. I've been wanting to play something else similar uh, to Shovel Knight and stuff for a bit, and I'm glad this game came around to scratch that itch. It also seems to be fairly short, as far as I know. So that's interesting, too, because it fits right into the lineup of things that I want to play. Which is always handy. Nope. Ah. I barely got hit by that. Oh yeah, I need to use the backdash more. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to use that more. I'm trying to familiarize myself with all of my different abilities. Oh, I probably should have used that to heal, huh? Oh well. We got the little shitty durability up dagger now. Which might not do as much damage either. I don't think those guys took two hits before. Ah, uh, I didn't do the down stab. Whoop. Okay, let's just ignore them before we take any more damage. Whoop. Okay. Let's switch to this so we can heal once its durability gets a bit low because I'm taking a bunch of damage now. Yeah, these guys die in one hit from this weapon, so... There must be tiers of weapons that have uh, different strengths. I must just walk right off that edge. I'd rather wait for these frogs to come over here. Okay, let's run, 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 run. And fall down here. Whoop. No, you don't. Uh, maybe you do? Okay, ow. Yeah, you got me. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and break this. I need the extra HP. Uh, should I really go down here with this shitty weapon? Okay, jump, jump, jump. Oh, jeez, it stopped me. Almost died there. Mm. Maybe against those guys I should throw my weapons more often than not. Because I'm really not looking too healthy right now. So I really need to watch what I'm doing here. Stupid thing. Go away. Okay, this is the jump I failed earlier. Oh wait, no it's not. It's the next jump that I failed. There we go. And you, stab. This is the jump that I failed. There we go. Might just have to do a little up slash. Ooh. Yeah, let's just chuck some weapons at you guys. I suppose I could have just waited for all of them to walk right in front of me and killed them that way, but... Oh, I thought that train was gonna kill me. I was very spooked by that train. 
Uh, why am I trying to attack you that way? We've already been over this. How do I get down there? Oh, it seems over here. Oop. Okay, that worked out. Surprisingly. And stab, stab. How do I get in there? Ooh. Can I fall down now? Oh, and then we... Hmm. This seems sort of dangerous, but... Okay, so... She's capable. Yes, good. Please, I needed that. So she's plenty capable of going out on her own. And Gato Roboto, the cat, was not capable of going out on its own, so I was just a bit wary of that. The spikes one hit? I certainly hope not. Uh, and jump. Oh, jeez. Oh, get out of there. Okay, so they don't one hit. That's good news, at least. So, really the only thing that's too incredibly dangerous for us are bottomless pits. So we just gotta keep in mind to watch those when we run into them. How long is this level, I wonder? Hello? Are you something I can destroy? No. We should probably grab some extra weapons out of here. Just in case. Uh, yep, this... Well, this is a checkpoint at the very least. Uh, deflect... Sure, this one. Checkpoint! So I wonder if I quit now, if we're good, or if this is just going to be the boss fight. So we have beam, deflect, and deflect. Do I have one that heals? Yeah, let's go ahead and put the club in there. Okay. Uh, boom. There we go. And up we go. Hey, guys. Whoop. Don't get blown up, please. Thank you. All right, and away we go. Oh, hi. See you chilling up there. I'm ready to fight Lilith. I'm tired of dealing with all her minions. Oh boy, I need to heal. All right, let's fall down here, and I need a hammer-type weapon, is I guess what that means? Do I have a hammer-type weapon? I have a dirt. Uh... I don't suppose the tomahawk is considered a hammer-type weapon? Yeah, no. So to get that, I believe I have to use a hammer-type weapon on the block, since that's what it's showing. At least that's what I'm thinking probably happens there. But oh well. Hi, guys. Just gonna go ahead and slash you all. Hmm. Can't get up there to the spear, but... Honestly, do I really even want a spear? Ow. Do I have any more heal weapons? No, it doesn't seem like it. I wanna, probably want to save that beam weapon. That seems like it'd be pretty useful against a boss. Oh, jeez. The little dagger-throwing goblins are a problem. Okay, you stupid bat. Yeah, just eat that. I don't feel like dealing with you guys. Whoop. Okay, get over the edge. Can't let those guys beat me up. Actually, would they... Is that a sword that can heal me? Oh, great. Now I have a club. But it's way too far to go back all the way over there. Oops. Apparently I missed. Because I'm definitely going to throw something at you. There we go. You would have just been too annoying to deal with otherwise. Oh, great. Another one. Okay, yeah, you throw one more, and then I can safely get up here and attack you. Alright. Progress being made. Ow. Is that a ladder I can actually climb? Doesn't seem like it. Um. Oh, she can probably climb it? Yeah, okay. I just gotta be really, really careful once I get up here, because I'm super low health. Go away, slug monsters. I really have to make it all the way through here with just her? Hmm. How am I supposed to... Jeez. I'm very intimidated by these things. Oh, run away. Slash, run away. Or, more like slap, I guess, is probably a better way of putting it. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay, it's down. Alright, now what's down here? 
I imagine there's probably a thing to teleport my robot over here at some point. Because, yeah, I don't think he could get over here otherwise. So I guess I've just got to travel around this flame for now. Which isn't awful, I'm just very, very scared. Hmm. Yep, we just gotta take it nice and slow. Alright, that's you down. I'm not even gonna bother with that goblin up there. But it looks like I might have to bother with the goblin up there. I suppose I could, no. Okay, just, just run. Oh, where'd you come from? Jeez. I mean, I reacted quickly, but it didn't really do anything. Um... Okay, do your whole little throwing cycle, and I'm gonna try to take you out. There we go. Can I even... Yeah, I can hurt you. Come on. We're fighting this out the lame way. I've got more range than you. There we go. Okay, it kind of stays, and its hitbox stays too, so I should, if I'm trying to hit somebody high, I should, like, jump up in the air, use it, and then just kind of let it come down on their head. Doesn't really seem like I'm doing a lot of damage, though. There we go. At least I managed to finish them off. Okay, this says repair. But there's also spikes all over this ground. Ow. I didn't think that flame was actually going to hurt me that much. Okay, boom, and boom. Uh, oh jeez. I thought I could land on top of those buses. I thought I could land on top of those buses. What can I say? Wow, all right, well, this seems pretty fun so far, although very, very stressful for me, and seems like it could be a pretty difficult little game, but regardless, I think this is probably where we're gonna end off the first episode. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time for more Panzer Paladin.